Hello everybody, I'm Storm here. Welcome back to the Horse Lord Mega Campaign in Stellaris. In the last episode, we continued working on building up the fleet as fast as I could. At least, I thought it was as fast as I could. While we wait to see what the Zoom Citizen Compact is going to do about this war they've declared on us. And it appears that they have come to a decision, and that is launch an all-out attack. Which, um, kind of was expecting. I was expecting a little bit sooner than this. But, not unanticipated. Unfortunately, our fleet does, ha does not have enough firepower to repel a force of that magnitude. So, we're going to have to buy some time. And by buying some time, I mean we're going to have to retreat. And continue to try to build ships as fast as we can. Now, one of the things I'm also kind of hoping hap uh, hoping hoping happens here is that they will split up. Once they hit T Garden Star, um, the the star base there is just going to have to do as much damage as it can by itself. Um, but we have to uh, maintain our ships, or we have no chance. And so if they split up after they hit T-Garden Star, we may, be, we may be able to try to defeat them in detail. Alright, because if I can isolate one of these fleets by itself, I think we can beat it. So, that is what is going to have to happen here. We need this to flip. We need that war exhaustion all the way up, and we need... I mean, basically we need their war exhaustion to climb as fast as, if not faster than mine. Which means we need a, a victory. We need to win a battle somewhere. Um, and if we can also knock down the relative navy strength while we're at it, so be it. Alright, so to that end, we're going to fall back. And I'm going to have to go into the market and see if I can convert any more of our resources into alloys. And this is a bit dangerous because... We're going to be running. Kind of toward the edge here. And if we have any resource issues, it's going to be a problem. But it kind of has to be done. Uh, we have the third fleet, which is a fleet of raiders coming in. I might just merge that with one of these guys. Though you are maxed out in terms of your capacity. Um, we'll see. It's an extra 250 combat power. Alright, let's go ahead and tell them to reinforce as much as we can. And what is that going to build? That's going to build a couple more Corvettes. Alright, well... Let's go ahead and unpause it, and let's see where things go. I'm going to keep it at normal speed, just so that things don't progress too quickly for me. What I'm hoping they're not going to do is come directly after my fleet. What I'm hoping is that they're trying to capture territory and not destroy the fleet. So, um, we'll see. We have a communique from a previously unknown space wing empire that called themselves the Prikiki T. Interesting. Ah, they're the uh, the gecko race. Um, they are fanatic xenophobic uh, militarists. Lovely. They're fanatical purifiers. Ah, okay. Quake and fear, alien scum, for your doom approaches. The Prikiki T will cleanse this galaxy of every misbegotten Xeno civilization that pollutes it with their presence. Volkia shall burn. Well, we'll uh, 
respond in kind. I need more. I need more alloys production. I also need more minerals production. Construction complete. All right, hold on just a moment. Yeah, I need some more minerals there. Two months. All right, the elusive Carcosa. The sightings we dismissed on Bernard Star Prime have been steadily growing in number and have now spread to other planets in our territory. Our communication channels have been bombarded with reports of the Carcosa supposed location, but when reviewed, no two descriptions match. The metaphorical, a metaphorical gold fever has gripped our population as the paradoxical nature of this creature becomes steadily more apparent. Something has to be done about this and quickly. Ship upkeep? No, can't afford that. Happiness down. Establish information quarantine and discourage further reports. Monthly influence down? I don't care. Do it. Matter is mythical being has to be put to rest once and for all before something drastic occurs. Our scientists have prepared several special projects to investigate the most critical, credible sightings across our empire in order to either prove or deny its existence once and for all. All right, so we got some special projects. And a governor died. A scientist died. Well, we replaced that scientist. But, uh... Governor Mohammed Abdel Noir has died at the age of 102. All right. So, the core sector needs a new governor. What do we got? Clear blockers, eh. Crime down, hmm. Need your lifespan. Um, Mohammed Al Jaziri is uh, gonna reduce our crime. We'll take it. Well, we don't have enough energy credits to take it. Because I spent all my energy credits on alloys. Now we're negative food, because of course we're negative food. That can be dealt with. I'll just get this planet building a farm and then we'll be fine. Reinforcements in transit. We'll have to modify this fleet to Scientific accept more ships. Achieved. What do we got? Basic combat roles. Okay, good. New research. Uh, ships weapons range plus 10%. That requires no upgrades. It just modifies our ships. Straight up. Now... Pause, please. There we go. Okay. Do I actually have to change the combat roles? I do. Uh, pick attack it. Pick it. Pick it. Tactics. The ship will advance to close range and attempt to intercept the enemy. Swarm tactics. The ship will charge straight at enemies and try to deal as much damage as possible. That gets fire rate up and evasion rate up. Fire rate up and tracking up. I'll take fire rate up and tracking up there. On these ships, though. Swarm tactics make sense. Make sure you're auto upgrading, please.
these destroyers. Um, they're both set to picket. Okay. That's fine. I'm guessing the fleets need to upgrade. Be able to take advantage of those, uh, those, uh, 135 alloys. I would rather have more ships. The enemy is targeting one of our stations. They are assaulting our spaceport. Wait a minute, why are you guys down to 1.3 and 1.2k? What? Are you getting... Let's see, that brings up to the 2.5k. Get her fleet in there. Get the first and second fleet. In there. Engage. Okay. Now they're at the 2.6k again. What on earth is going on? Never mind. Belay that order. Okay, that was that was awfully odd. The Tilanesi Order wants to offer us a migration treaty. We'll take it because we need the pops. Alright, so what are you going to do? Okay, you're going to leave your 2.K fleet here, and you're going to send your other two fleets to the Gleese 1 system. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. That's, that's fine. Um... Send my fleets to the board of the system so they can get ready to jump. I have to keep an eye on this. Oh, you're bringing your other fleet back. Okay, um, can I take on a 2.3, okay, plus the 968 with what I've got? Okay, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell the fleets to switch off to passive. And then get in there. Try and engage them and keep the station out of it. Scientific breakthrough achieved. The enemy is targeting one of our stations. All right. We've got naval capacity up. Well, that doesn't really help too much. Ship experience gain up. Army experience gain. Army morale. 
I'll take the ship experience gain. Why are there numbers fluctuating here? All right, they're coming in. Battle is joined. Scientist just died. That's all right. Which type of scientist is this? Society. Research people is ten percent. I will no. Um, leader experience gain, expertise void craft, expertise materials. I guess I'll just take the experience gain. We also need that governor. All right, if that is correct, we can we can beat that. And now they're back to the regular numbers. Here come reinforcements. Speaking of reinforcements, what are they doing up here? Yeah, they're on their way. Okay. Oh, we need to win this battle. We need to win it fast. Because then we need to we need to bug out. Uh, we've got the station involved here, too. to the edge of the system. They're about ready to jump. You got to the Evagramar system. All right. Um, no, don't you dare do that. Go there. Third fleet. Head for the Bernard Star system. Kelbred Prime Intellect. All right. Not interfere with our divine providence. Kel what are these guys? They are machine intelligence. All right. We are the Kelbred Prime Intellect. Do not be alarmed by our non-organic nature. Like you, we are f a fully sapien class three civilization. We are willing to engage in diplomacy with any human subunits you designate for this purpose. All right, then. Respect our authority. Did 
That actually did get me what I needed. We are ahead of them on war exhaustion. And I forced their fleets to retreat. All right, and you're no longer coming in that direction. All right, good, 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 good. Okay. Um, we just need also some replacement ships. And hit the market. And sell off anything I can. Sell it all off. Don't want to sell off that. And buy this. Buy as much of that as we can. And queue in those ships. Yeah, they're going to run through all of this and, and hit those stations. That's fine. All right, where's the first fleet? First fleet's here. Get repairs. We're at minus 41. I think that went about as well as... Alright, ship weapons range has been increased. Excellent. Uh, let's see. Improved deflectors. Grab the improved deflectors. That won't help us in this war, but it will help us in the future. Because right now, every single alloy that I have is going to go to new ships. Third fleet has no leader. You're fully repaired. Okay. Rendezvous with Bernard Star. What's going on? Something's happening. Okay. Ships are repaired. Excellent. We have a minute. Go ahead and get upgraded. There is a single ship. We have established a new planetary base. Our ships have been made superior. All right, upgrades are done. Okay, rendezvous at Bernard Star. Vagamar, uh, you guys uh, build another mine. You're receiving a transmission for the Independent Space Station of the Curator Order. Excellent. Alright. Greetings, Star Travelers. We are the Curators. Our ancient order was established eons ago by the various galactic powers in ascendancy at the time. We are dedicated towards the preservation of all knowledge in an effort to safeguard the galaxy from descending into yet another dark age of mass extinctions and barbarism. We failed. Few of us remain today, but we are no less committed to our sacred mission than our predecessors were. We are willing to share some of our knowledge with you for a price. Well met. 
Um, how much? How much are we talking? Contacts. Uh, the Curator Enclave. Contact you. Aid us in our research. It'll cost us 3,000 energy credits. We don't have that. Yeah, if we can get them to hit 100% war exhaustion. Yeah, they're just rolling through. We're going to swing back behind them and retake all that. In a minute. All right, there was peace between the Jurin regime and the Vit Patricius High Kingdom, and they took a system. All right. Actually, change of plans. You guys wait there. Rendezvous at 61 Signy. Head there. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and bump speed up a little bit here. What are all these individual ships not doing? Shouldn't they be merging? Please, please merge up. Merging, yes. Okay, good. Anybody here can get some reinforcements? No. Incoming transmission. A commercial pact invitation from the Tilanesi Order. We will agree to this. The harmonious Yibra Commonwealth will become more xenophilic. Quest some reinforcements. A new conflict has erupted. The Fearol conglomerate has declared war on the Tizru Mercantile Union. Come on, guys. I need to get over to Tea Garden Star. And retake that pl that uh, system. And then we're just going to follow back behind and retake all these systems, and uh, and see how things go. Negative 32. Negative 82. 
I don't think we're going to be able to get the actual war goal done. Scientific breakthrough achieved. All right, daily hull regen plus 0.5 percent. Excellent. Corvette alloy cost minus 15. Unlock space torpedoes. Auto cannons, ion thrusters, crystal infused plating. Let's make our Corvettes cheaper. Construction complete. All right, let's get all these guys moving. There is an enemy Starfleet. And it is coming towards Teak Garden Star. Or at least it looks like it is. Excellent. That is actually good for me. Uh, can you guys at least temporarily merge? There we go. Let's go. All right, another communique from the Av Avtiran bonded merchants. Interesting. They are xenophobic, or fanatically xenophobic, spiritualists, ruthless capitalist trade league. I bring greetings from Chairman Sek Ortab. The undisputed ruler of the Avtiran bonded merchants. Respect our borders and keep out of our affairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Respect our authority as well. Beginning attack run on enemy station. And we have pirates. Because of course we have pirates. Scientific breakthrough achieved. All right, we got our improved deflectors, auxiliary fire control. Let's go ahead and get that. All right, are you still going to be coming uh, or not? Oh, they've actually arrived. Excellent. I could use another victory against one of their fleets. Death of a great human. Gaylord Bellflower died this morning. He had been struggling with poor health for some time and, uh, and a fever finally finished him off. One of his finally, final projects had been to ensure that his efforts to ensure peaceful and just relations between species are not forgotten by setting up an annual cultural exchange in his something or another. Uh, however, he died before this could be realized. The mourning population of Bernard Star Prime have requested that Gaylord Belfar's last wish be honored and that government support for culture exchange be given. What are we talking about? Minerals and energy credits from jobs down... For 60 months. That's too expensive. He was just a troublemaker. May his memory be forgotten. Unfortunately, for the next 10 years, we're going to get into unhappiness because I cannot afford this. We're already negative 31 energy credits because of the stinking pirates. that I now have to deal with. All right, return for repairs. We'll go deal with the stinking pirates. Get some reinforcements. 
negative 24. All right, but we're at the end of the episode. Things are going okay so far. Um, where are you going? Don't know. You're just kind of flying around doing stuff. All right, so for now, we'll go ahead and stop here. You gotta go deal with those pirates because I cannot afford to be losing so much energy credits because they're right on the main trade route. I swear, I've got to put a station there. I just have to. I have to put an actual station there to stop this from happening. Very annoying. Unfortunately, I don't have the alloys for that right now. So, yeah, there's that. All right. But we'll see how things go when we come back next episode. So for now, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you next time.